What is up everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to add a download button widget to your page without Budget Elements plugin. So first off, you need to search for the download button widget and you drop it onto a new section. The difference between the regular button and the download button is that once the user clicks on the download button, they can download a media library element from your media library. It can be pretty much anything, media, PDF document, etc, etc. You might want your users to download multiple formats of files, so it is a really useful one. And now let me show you how you can actually make this button work. All right, so download ID. Here you can specify ID of media library element, which will be download on button click. So how do you learn what the ID of the needed media library element is? Now let's go ahead to the dashboard, then go to media, library, and here you see all of your elements that you've got in the media library, but they're in a grid. Now you need to go up here and switch the view mode from grid to list. And now when you will be hovering over your media library element, you will see the post equals and the digits those digits will be the id of your media library element or you can also open media library element and there at the top in the address bar you will find the same line post equals and the digits those digits are the needed id so i want the users to download this SVG file when they click on the download button. So I go ahead and I copy this ID. I get back to the Elementor editor where I have started adding my download button. And then here in the download ID field, I simply paste this ID that I have copied. And as you see, it pulled out the size right away. Let's have a look at what this is. Download link subtext. As you see, you have the link text, which is in this case download, or you can use the macros, which is those percent signs and which will pull out the size of your element that you want the users to download. Let's check this out. All right, the size is the same, so this is how you can check whether you have put the right ID here in this field. Okay, so here you choose the icon for your button. There is quite a number of them, so you'll have a wide choice. Then let's go ahead to the style tab. You choose the icon size, like you can make it bigger, smaller, you can choose where you want to position this icon. You choose the alignment of the elements on the button, the titles, in this case, so the title and the subtitle. You set the icon margin and here you set the look and behavior of the button on normal and on hover. So you can choose the color. There's also an option to set a gradient, like so, you can add an image. Here you can change the border radius, like that. The button icon, so the color of the icon can be changed separately. The button label and the button sub-label. So every of these three elements on the button can be changed right here, so independently from each other. Well, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial on how to add a download button to your page with the help of Jet Elements plugin. What else we can do is to actually go ahead and check this button out. Let's publish this page. And I'll go and have a look at the preview. So let's click on the button. And here we go, I have just downloaded the SVG file, the ID of which I set right there 
in the download ID. So I hope you like this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another one.